back because teams will try to stop them. So, um, but you know we feel good about our guys and, and they're competing. And um, you know it's good when, we, when you got a guy, a veteran leader like Keenan, who does a lot of things for you, kind of sets the tone. Travis being back with us that certainly helps. So you know it's a it's a great opportunity for some young players to show what they can do. Well, speed helps. You know, that's always a big thing. He's made a number of big plays for us through the years. Um, he does some things for us, whether it's a jet sweep, you know, running the football. And uh, Travis is very versatile. And I think one of the things that, you know, we as a group really appreciate about Travis is how smart he is. He really helps the young guys. He's a good leader. He works hard. And he helps build the chemistry in that room. You know, if you watch us, you can see us move receivers all over the place. You know, you've seen Mike on a reverse. You've seen Mike block at the end of the line of scrimmage. You've seen guys everywhere. You know, and, and it's not easy to do that. And when you have guys like Keenan and, and Travis that are smart players, that are, that are good leaders and help build that chemistry, it really helps. Chris, how, how much did the, you said clutchness of Travis? He only had 12 catches last year, but uh, three of them were probably some of the biggest plays in the season in Pittsburgh and Kansas City. You go back to 2017, it's the ability to, to get punt returns and, and big plays to have a guy that you can count on in those big plays. Well, I mean, it's, you, Travis, like I said, has made a number of big plays for us. You know, it was, we had a tough start in that first game against Kansas City. And uh, then he was nicked up a little bit. But, you know, he's always been a guy that has made some good plays for us, whether it's been on a reverse, you know, whether it's been a big play down the field. I think defenses take notice when he's in there, and that helps the other guys. So, you know, it was, I thought it was great that uh, it's all worked out and we got Travis back. You know, last year that was something that we kind of developed as we went along, and it's, I think that's the way it is every year. I don't necessarily know that it is that it is receiver motion. I mean, I think you you are always looking to try to expand and do different things to stay versatile. A lot of it is determined by the players that you have and what they can do. You know, it, it obviously starts up front with our offensive line and those guys, and they've done such a good job understanding all the different things that we have to do, especially when you do some of those motions. You know, the identifications of who they're trying to block, who they're trying to protect change, and they change quickly. And those guys have to be able to handle that. So, you know, it, it's, a, it's a thing that it takes everybody. You know, will we continue to do some of that? Yeah, but, I mean, we've we got to look at other things, too, because if you stay with one thing too long in this league, defenses get a beat on you, and it makes it hard. Well, I mean, I think it's, it's you know, obviously um, both of those guys and what they can do determines that, you know, having both of those guys. So, I mean, that'll be part of what we've done, just like part of what we do, just like we have done with that. But, you know, I think that you want to try to do a number of different personnel groups to try to keep defenses off balance. So, you know, we look at a lot of different things through OTAs and into training camp and try to get some things that we feel like will help us as we go forward in the season. Well, I think a lot. That's what you do a lot in the off season. You go back and look at what you did. You know, you obviously see things that other people are doing during the course of the year, and you try to do things to incorporate some of those type of ideas. But um, you know, it's really it's really the period from when our season is over until we get into phase one or two, where we where you kind of look at those things and you think about your players, and then you start thinking about what you want to do off of some of the things that you've done in the past. You know, I think what we've done is really pushed our guys offensively to do a number of different things. It's not easy. When you talk about all the different spots that we ask our guys to line up in and then understanding the concepts, you know, it's, it's a difficult task. I mean, it's when you have a quarterback like Phillip that understands it all, you know, it makes it a lot easier. But once again, it goes back to guys like Keenan, like, like Travis, like Hunter Henry, you know, even Melvin and, and Austin, guys that understand, you know, what we're trying to do. We're really trying to create matchups where we think can work out in our favor. And we're still trying to make 
plays look like something that we've done and you know give them the old misdirection the other way so just trying to build off of those things and I think it's a combination of um, our staff working together you know experiences that they've had or ideas that we come up with you know there's a lot of times if you go into our staff room there's a million things drawn up on the board and um, you know somebody will draw something up and they'll either say it's a good idea or they'll get ridiculed that's stupid so you know but you can't be afraid to put the stupid things up and try them because sometimes they do work so you know there's a lot of give and take with everybody but our guys really it goes back to our players and their desire to play multiple spots and do multiple things that really helps us yeah you know I mean that's always a possibility I think a lot of it determines you know how our personnel shakes out in general and uh, um, but you know I, we definitely wouldn't be afraid to do that I think uh, you know, but right now Tyrod's got to learn this offense and play in this offense, and uh, you know, but w uh, he's he's done a great job so far. We're excited to have him. You know, it's a good question. I don't think it makes my job harder or our our job harder. I think it makes their job harder. You know, they've got to find a spot where they can they got to play and they got to be productive when they do it. And I'll tell you what, you know, hats off to Detrez and JJ down the stretch. They were huge for us. You know, in the Pittsburgh game, JJ really made some plays and Detrez did too at the end of the season. And uh, it's great to have those guys in our offense again. It really feels like it gives us some depth at that position and some guys that are versatile. So. Uh, you know, you can't obviously you can't use everybody in a game. I mean, you can only have uh, 53 active and, you know, Gus, he's always working to get more defensive players and offensive players active anyway. So that makes it hard enough. But, um, you know, I'd say that's one of our stronger groups, the running back group, just because of what those young guys have done. Yeah, they, they yeah, yeah, we try that, but it doesn't work. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, you got it. Appreciate it.